Turning to our top story, the miracle in Cleveland, one of the suspects in this case seemed to lead an ordinary life. Neighbors say they had no idea there was anything amiss inside this home. One man who lived two doors down from the home for more than 20 years says suspect Ariel Castro was a friendly and charismatic guy. And now he says he and his neighbors are shaken. You are in shock right now. Yes, I knew Ariel for all that time, since five years old. Um, nice guy, charismatic. Um, he used to ask me when I was young, get on his uh, four-wheeler, get on it, you know, ride ride with him. He was consistent in, in asking me. Describe his interaction with the kids on the block. It was a, he was a fun guy. I mean, uh, parents trusted him. He talked to the parents. You know, I mean, he was... He was just a regular guy on the street, you know, that had a four-wheeler, that had some bikes that parents trusted to let the kids uh, get on the bike with him. And he was just he was just loving, happy, you know. He put on that great mask that everyone thought he was a good guy. When you heard that he's accused of possibly having these three women in there? Still don't understand how I'm feeling right now. I'm, I should be happy and excited, ecstatic that they found them, but at the same time, I feel hurt. My, 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 my heart is feeling rough right now to know that this happened two houses from me that none of us noticed anything um i feel ashamed of myself my community right now and in this neighborhood that we didn't see anything so right now i, I don't even know how i feel and then and then to know that, that was this guy it's like no way no way it's like no i, I can't believe it because the fear of, of of what could have happened when i was young the fear of what could have happened to my friends when i was young my sister like that's just it's it's, it's an impossible feeling ABC's Alex Perez, they're interviewing a neighbor who lived two doors down. Powerful stuff. Police say the three women were held against their will in a home in Cleveland. It was just a few miles away from where they disappeared. Three brothers now arrested.